Well, I wasn't going to be making a video so quick right after I just posted yesterday, but Twitter do be popping off thanks to Modern Warfare 2 being data mined. So I guess let's talk about it. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Vermillion. As you know, the Modern Warfare 2 beta has just ended, but the information we're getting just doesn't seem to stop. Thanks to my buddy Lasis, otherwise known as a Manador, he sent me a Twitter feed with some really juicy information regarding camo unlocks. As we all know, though, take any data mine information or leaks with a grain of salt, as these can obviously be changed, especially the challenges themselves, as it seems almost exactly like Modern Warfare 2019, like literally down to the last inkling. But we don't know exactly how camo are going to work for weapon platforms yet seems also to be just general numbers and not specific to any set gun or receiver type so we'll have to wait to see if there's any weapon or attachment specific camos starting with assault rifles we have 800 normal kills model for 2019 was also at 800 looks like only 125 headshots just the same as nw19 like i said all these challenges are pretty similar really really close to model for 2019 160 stance change kills which we can assume is most likely crouching kills or kills shortly after sliding 75 hip fire kills 100 100 long shot kills and this next one oh i know is going to make a lot of people furious should i show it should i reveal it uh i don't know 100 mounting kills yeah it's back Swear to God, Infinity Ward, are you even listening to your community? I know it wasn't that much of a problem to get 100 mounted kills. Personally, it never really took me that long, but I know the community has absolutely despised this challenge for numerous reasons, and you bring it back? Oh my God, dude, it's great. <laughs> 180 full attachment kills, meaning that you have five attachments equipped on the weapon while getting kills, 50 kills shortly after reloading, 110 kills with zero attachments equipped, and 35 streaks. Most likely three kills in a single life, just like Modern Warfare 2019. So far, it's looking like the rest of the challenges hasn't been changed at all. These could be placeholders, but I would hope not. Otherwise, it might be kind of a slap to the face to give us a new game to regrind the things we've already grinded for. As previous leaks also suggest that we will be getting the exact same camos as Modern Warfare 2019. We'll have to see. Moving on to launchers, we've got 125 normal kills, 40 attacker kills, which means that you will need to kill players while they are on the objective, such as Hardpoint, 40 defender kills, exact same thing except you need to be on the objective when you kill another player off uh, 75 aerial kill streaks destroyed 75 ground kill streaks destroyed 50 spotter kills i'm assuming this means kill streaks uh, or vehicles marked with the spotter perk similar to the model for 2019's amped up streaks 50 support kill streaks these next two are a bit confusing 50 aux kills that's literally what it is in quotations a l l k s don't know what that means 50 warhead kills and i again i don't know what this means we'll find out later on obviously but uh yeah 50 of those and then finally 50 vehicle kills considering how many vehicles are now in ground war this is going to be so much easier the launchers sound far more doable than getting three kill streaks in a match 30 times for each launcher <coughs> looking at you vanguard these changes sound fine but with how small these changes are compared to mono warfare 2019 i just hope that these aren't true next we have lmgs starting with its basic kills you'll need 500 and 25 of those 75 headshots 65 stance change kills again most likely crouching or shortly after sliding 45 hip fire kills 45 long shots 45 mounted kills and 180 full attachment kills with 30 double kills 75 no attachment kills and 25 streaks continuing are our pistols we all love a good secondary you'll need 250 basic kills 50 headshots 40 stance change kills 30 hip fire kills 30 long shots, 25 kills shortly after reloading, 110 full attachment kills, 25 double kills, 75 no attachment kills, and 25 streaks again. Whew. I thought LMGs are going to be easy, which just like MW 2019, they kind of were. I mean, you can get pistols done in literally an hour and a half. These challenges are literally the exact copy of Monolith for 2019, but that's not necessarily the problem. I mean, honestly, these camo challenges for the pistol is going to take me probably about 1.5 hours tops, especially if leveling up the weapons are super easy as they were in the beta run a couple of hours of hardcore and pistols will be done in no time flat man next up is everyone's favorite to hate on shotguns shotgun challenges in this game are 400 basic kills 75 crouch kills 75 hip fire kills 50 point blink kills 50 headshots 100 full attachment kills, 30 kills shortly after reloading, 110 no attachment kills, and 30 kill streaks again. Coming up, we have snipers. This includes 450 kills, 60 headshots, 50 stance change kills, 50 one shot kills, 50 long shots, 50 holding breath kills, 150 full attachment kills, 25 double kills, 75 no attachment kills, and lastly, 25 streaks. Whew. You keep it up with me yet? I know I'm going to kind of fast, but trying to get this through because honestly, all these challenges are very, very similar. There's not much to cover, and we'll just talk about it after I'm done going 
and over all of them so here we go again knives will include 50 injured kills 50 backstabs 30 dead silence kills 50 stance change kills 25 double kills 25 kills and smoke 10 buzz kills 25 executions and 10 streaks lastly we have the riot shield yep it's back of course it's back why is it back 200 kills 50 injured kills 50 kills from behind 30 dead silence kills 50 stance change kills 25 riot underscore small underscore streak kills since this is just like mw19 we can assume it's literally the two kills without dying 25 kills inside of a smoke 10 buzz kills 25 executions and 25 streaks so once again i just want to reiterate that all of these challenges are literally identical to modern warfare 2019 literally down to the t besides launchers this could very well be bait but considering he's had a lot of other twitter posts taken down or the media being removed from him showing off weapons early we can assume that what ghost is saying may have some truth as we had the camo shown off when the beta was accessible early by xbox players and they loaded up custom matches to look at the camos really if both turn out to be true and they are not placeholder challenges or placeholder camos then this cod just may prove to be literally absolutely disappointing to us camo grinders one of the biggest reuses of content i've seen from a cod game in a while like a direct blatant reuse of assets and programming i mean here's hoping that modern warfare 2 surprises us at launch but tell me what you all think in the comments below is this real are we getting baited will we see and have to grind the same camos we did in modern warfare 2019 answer down below and let's discuss this further if you want to keep up with my other socials though i do have a twitter account that i use for more fast sporadic thoughts and i also have a cool community discord i hope you all enjoyed the video much love and i will catch you in the next one